Oh, that's a big one. Dude, that's a, that's a giant. What's up everybody? Donnie here, welcome back to another video. So good to have you, thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be targeting uh, sheep's head. We got a few dozen uh, fiddler crabs. Picked them up at Golf to Bay Bait and Tackle. Thanks to my, uh, my buddy Kyle for hooking it up. But we just got on the, uh, the pier. We're gonna go down there, see if the sheep's heads are down there, see what happens. This is gonna be our first spot. If that doesn't work out, we'll move on to the next spot and um, look for them elsewhere. Just tying on my favorite hook right now from a uh, owner. It's called the Ono Gorilla Light, size number one. It's what I like to use when sheep's head fishing, especially if you're freelining because these uh, these hooks are pretty thick. It acts like a like a little weight, so you don't have to put split shots or anything on it. You're ready to go, just like that. The most natural presentation. That's what the package looks like. Here we go. Let's put a fiddler crab on. Show you guys where I like to hook it right there and out along the legs. That way, this guy is still alive. Let's see, let's hope they're here. Like I said, I haven't been fishing down here in uh, a long time, so I don't know if they're gonna be here or not. Water is super clear though, so it's always a good sign when you're, when you're out fishing and the water is that, that clear. Yeah, definitely not seeing any fish here, but we're already here, we're just gonna send that down there. Might be a good sign to move to a different spot right now. It's no point of staying if the fish aren't here. Usually with these sheep's head, you'll see them munching on the barnacles. They'll flash. If you don't see that, that means they're not here. Let's move. Had to uh, bounce around to find these fish. Uh, finally found one, really big. Probably, I wanna say 17, 16, 17 inch um, fish. Let's see if he'll bite though. It's outgoing tide right now, so that water is moving out really fast. Oh, he's going after it. He turned at it, guys. I don't know. I think he took it. Got him. Oh my goodness. That was a smaller one. We're gonna get him, guys. You know, sometimes these fish, they'll make, they'll make you work for them. Let's see. Man, this, this, this tide is like moving so fast that it's kind of hard to, to free line but we're trying to make it work right now. We got Fish on channel joining us. Just hanging um, out though. Bush, not yeah, he's, he just pulled up. He's not even filming right now. <laughs> so yeah, today is just, uh, just see what's biting around the town, man. We haven't fished for what, three days? I don't know about you, but I haven't fished for like almost a week now, actually. Yeah, it's, it's actually been a struggle for me. Uh, I was in Fort DeSoto yesterday. Windy. And yeah, super windy, water was murky. It's, it's the struggle of wintertime fishing. I say this all the time. It's like, it's super slow, baits are smaller, bites can be hit or miss. Yeah, tricky, but- so Let's see what's going on here today. Yeah, we got plenty of uh, fiddler crabs in the bucket here. We'll see if we can get on some more sheep's head. Uh, caught one earlier. Actually, I didn't, I didn't catch one. I hooked onto lost one. Them. Lost, yeah, lost them. But let's see if they're still out. Oh yeah, baby. Here we go. That's a decent one right there. Saw him smoke it. This guy's a little dark, but that's a good, yeah, that's a good fish, Bush. Had to come back for the sheephead action, baby. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. See, see how dark he is though? That's so cool. Why there's some dark and some light? I don't know, man. I've, I've noticed that. That's a, yeah, 16, 17, a 16 nice. and a half probably. 15 pound leader. <laughs> yeah, he is pretty, pretty dark, but uh, solid fish, man. Look at him. Sick. Are you keeping him or? Just come, All right, I'm gonna let him. just got here, slaying <laughs> First, first, uh, first fish caught here though. Yeah. Hooked one earlier, but came off. How'd you guys like that release? <laughs> Oh man, let's try to get on another one. You can't tell him to take a break, Bush. He's trying to catch a... You got one, you got the tiny one. Oh, here's another one right here. Another big one, man. Ah, he's not interested though. Oh, there's some... 
Dude, there's some big ones, Bush. Where's your line at? Uh, you're good. Dude, there's some big ones down there. Whoa. I'm seeing them. You see them? As soon as I throw the oysters earlier, they did the same thing, like six or seven. Okay, now... Oh, look at that one, Bush. Oh my gosh, look yeah. at them. You're good, you're good. I'm just gonna let mine drift. Drift into their face. Right here. Look at, do you, do you not see them? Look at that dark stuff. That's all of them. Actually, I'm gonna get up here. Oh, there you go. A little smaller. Yeah, a little, a little smaller. There's some bigger ones uh, further out, but this guy is a little tiny. Little guy, probably like 11 inches. Got him right on the corner of the mouth. Open your mouth. There we go. Little guy. Let's put him back in the water. See ya. He gone. Let's try to get a bigger one. Oof, big one right here. Oh yeah, he's on it already. Oh man. Oh, that's a good one. That is a, that's a good one. Yeah, you have to measure this one. You have to measure that. Oh yeah. Good fish right there. That's my man, my father is saying, that's, that's how his dad is saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really nice. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Let's land him over here. So we measure him, he smoked that bush. Nah, he's probably probably 17. We'll measure him though. Measure? Do you have to measure him? Yeah, I do. This guy's probably gonna go back, but. I think it's 17. You think it's 17? Yeah, 17, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, 17, 17, yeah, 17 on a dot. A little over 17. See ya. Oof. One of them's gotta eat. That's another solid one there, man. They're all keepers. This one is probably... Oh, we had a double. That's another solid one there. For sure a keeper. Look at that fish. Fat, man, these fish are fat. Probably 14 inches there. They gotta be 13 inches and what is it, five per person a day? Or six, uh, seven? Eight. Eight? Yeah. That's a lot of sheep's head. Eight, eight sheep's head per person a day. We're not keeping any fish today. We're gonna let this guy go so he can grow to be a stud. See ya. He's been uh, getting balls There you go. There it is. Smaller. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm just skipping this guy on the surface. That's weird, got him right on the face. See it. A lot of rocks out here, man. You fish, you fish in this area, you know what I'm talking oh, yeah. about. <laughs> Expect to lose like five oh, yeah. to people, 10 hooks. People don't understand. At least. Let's send another fiddler crab out there. You have yeah, go ahead. Yeah, man, there's plenty. Help yourself out. What do you What do you think, Bush? Do you, do you like fiddler crabs or mangrove tree crabs better? Mangrove. It depends what you fish, though. Yeah. I always tell people, mangrove tree crabs are the best when you fish in mangroves. Fish they just are the best when you fish in like you know rocky area. All ah, the... took it. I separate them. So mud crabs will be the best for these rocks here. Yeah. Fiddlers, I'll say when you fish on the beach or clear water like this, and mangrove tree crabs when you fish in the mangroves. Can't beat that. Look, he's still there. That is definitely a bigger fish. I think I think they I think they're fired up. They're like they're like right next to my bait right now, about to inhale it. I think 
Uh, nope. I'm filmed. Be on the board. I'm not on the board yet. Believe it or not. Oh yeah, that's a good one, Bush. Finally. Bush is on. Finally on the board. Oh yeah, they're they're all big over here. It's insane. Yeah. That's a nice one. Oh no. Hook pulled. Still not in the board. Oh man. That was a solid one. I saw it too. Oh that's a big one. Dude, that's a that's a giant. That's that's the one we've been seeing. Bush, the black, the black back. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Good fish right there, man. I don't know. Yeah, I'll measure him. Oh, dude, that's a big one. Biggest one of the day so far. Definitely 18 inches there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that guy. Sick. Let's measure it real quick, just to see exactly how big yeah, it is. He made, he makes it. 18, you think? Kind of hard to get a good measurement on this guy. Yeah, 17 and a half. 17 and a half inches. All right, that's as good as it's gonna get. We're gonna put this guy back in the water. He's definitely ready to go. See ya. That's a stud. There he goes. Back to the same spot where I caught them. Gotta love when they, when they come up and just, you know, smoke it and you can see them just inhale the whole that's, thing. Yeah, that's the best. It's the best. I love when they have those kind of guys. This one right here, that's a big one right there. Oh, see him? He's not going for it? No. That is a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Next time you go out fishing with fiddler crabs, definitely use smaller ones too. You'd be surprised of how big of a sheep's head you can catch. Big bait doesn't always mean big fish. That's it for me. Hit that like button if this is something you're into. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one.